Hello, I'm Dr. Christina with New Leaf Chiropractic. And I'm Dr. J. <laughs> Am I going I first? Told you to stop. Oh, I'm going first. All right. No, so. you're not. Anyway, <laughs> we are talking about supplements today that boost your immune system. We are. Continue. So, supplements is exactly what the word means supplementation it doesn't mean replacement so ideally you want to get as many um, supplements that your body needs from your diet when you can't we turn to supplementing um, in order to help to um, contribute to our healthy diet that we're eating so today we're talking about supplements specifically um, for boosting your immune system so <coughs> You can get a lot of zinc naturally from meat, but that leaves people who don't eat meat looking for sources of zinc. So zinc is shown to reduce the severity of colds. Now, I you know for almost every study that's out there that says that a supplement does something, that there's studies out there that don't. Look, we've found that zinc works really, really well. Somebody who I really like, Mark Sisson, actually says that one source of zinc that works really well to integrate in your body is getting ionic zinc. So. Um, I, I take some ionic zinc. This is uh, just a, a, a raw zinc from uh, Garden of Life. I also like these zinc lozenges because they come with elderberry. So sometimes you can get some supplements that come with other goodies, like in this particular case, elderberry slash sambucus. So vitamin C, we try to get a, a, a large amount of vitamin C in our diet, um, but we also supplement. So I like, if you're gonna use vitamin C, the best thing to find is a food base vitamin C. So this is a powder and I will mix this in smoothies or in our kids uh, applesauce and things like that to make sure our kids get it as well. Vitamin C, uh, it's a strong antioxidant and it helps boost your immune system. One of the great things that it does is um, it accumulates in phagocytic cells. So these are cells that basically eat all the uh, microbes in the body. So they play a huge role in killing microbes. They help boost the immune system. They help stave off uh, illnesses such as viruses, um, colds, and flu. And there's also been research that shows that vitamin C can be very helpful uh, to both prevent and treat respiratory and systemic infections. So we keep this on a regular basis. And then along with... Can I say something about vitamin C? Sure. It's water soluble, so that means you have to have it in your body all the time. So your body won't store it like it will store something like vitamin D. Go ahead, sorry. I was about to say that. Oh, thank you. But you said it. Great anyway, think alike. Um, along with our diet is, and, the, and these are supplements we use. There's so many different brands of these. You can research and see what, um, what um, jives with you, but a whole food supplement. So these are ideal for people who don't get enough greens in your diet. Um, this is also an excellent force, source of a natural food-based vitamin C. And if you can get one that has spirulina in it, it's also helpful with boosting your immune system. So when you have your whole food supplement, an organic one is ideal. And on the ingredient list, it should list nothing but vegetables, fruits, um, some have herbs, sprouted, um, sprouted vegetables and legumes and things like that. So I love these. We have some, we have a whole food supplement that's a gummy that we give to our kids also. Mm -hmm. um, I can't stand, I can't stand the way that tastes. Well, you guys will be eating. <laughs> well, I, well, I sneak a couple in. So the, uh, Captain Obvious, so number one place where there's neurologic activity is going to be in our brain. The second place, and it's not even a, it's, it's a distant second, but then third is like a distant third. The second place is in our gut. So to make sure that your gut knows exactly what's going on, it's really important to, sub to supplement with something like probiotics. We talked about this in another video of ours. If you're doing yogurt, that's great, but you're only getting a couple hundred thousand. This particular one, this is, this is 90 billion. This is my once a day. And if we're ever down with a cold or a flu, you, you better be sure that we're getting, that we've got this little powdered thing. Again, I feel like I should be plugging Garden of Life here, but they've got a very intense, repair, restorative immune system like blasting that you can take and you can put in some kombucha because there's a couple of probiotics in kombucha. Um, I don't necessarily like the way that tastes either, but that's, a, that's another really great way to, to stimulate in particular the T cells in your body, which are the ones that come by and, and eat the bad guys. Yep. So echinacea, um, 
we keep this handy. You can get it in tincture form, capsule form. Uh, we also have a tincture for our kids. I've been using this one for years, especially in cold and flu season. So echinacea helps, um, research has shown it helps to increase the number of white blood cells, which fight infections in the body. Um, high in antioxidants, which also help boost your immune system, keep your bodies healthy. Um, study has also shown that it can combat infections, viruses, which can help you recover faster from illness. So even if you're sick, you have a cold or a flu or something, you're taking echinacea, it can help just help your body fight it faster and help you recover sooner. Um, what, what I do with echinacea is I don't take it more than seven days in a row at a time. If, if I'm giving it to ourselves or our kids, we do seven days on and about three days off, um, just so our body doesn't build up an immunity to it. If you are pregnant, there's some brands of echinacea that are echinacea and golden seal. If you're pregnant, you don't want to use golden seal. Um, pregnant or nursing, I'll add nursing. Um, you just want to get straight echinacea. Does not really taste good, so you can also chase it with something. Put it in juice. Like, like or what? What would you chase that with? Whatever you like, <laughs> except for alcohol. Oh, well, alcohol is not a chaser. Anyway, you can put it in juice smoothies. Um, it's also in capsule form, so you can take it that way. Hey, look, I learned something new today. I didn't know about the whole three-day thing. I may have, I may have neglected that little three-day rest thing. Uh, L-lysine. So L-lysine is really important. You want to combine L-lysine with, with vitamin C, right? Yeah. And echinacea. Yeah. And echinacea. Okay, cool. Uh, so no, sorry, zinc. So L-lysine. This is just a, a super lysine immune supplement here. And I, personally, like this kind of goes back to the zinc thing. You can get it from meat and dairy. l lysine is a lot of meat and dairy, avocado type products. But if you're going to supplement it for a time when you're feeling down, you're feeling stressed. And l lysine does also help with people who have anxiety, they have got stress, they just feel like they're constantly going, going, going all the time. l lysine helps you get to the other side of that uh, from, from inside, from your gut. And that anxiety and stress will also deplete your immune system. So this helps your body move better able to internally um, handle it. So these are what we use on a regular, well, mostly in cold and flu season, um, just to help give our body as much power as, as we can to keep our immune system as strong as possible. I feel like we got this guy sitting here. This is the elderberry Sambucus. And this is one that we had a lot of our clients actually who make this and have brought it into us. So you can make these at home. This is just a little, a little elderberry sambuca supplement. I'm just going to spill these everywhere. Oops. Um, That's a supplement that has zinc and vitamin C in it. So it just makes it a, a little bit more powerful for you. Three-way immune boost. I'm up for that. So I hope this was helpful. You, uh, you may have some of these or lots of these in your cabinet already. I feel um, like we should put a disclaimer in it. This doesn't constitute medical advice. Please seek out your doctor if you have any questions this is just again this is what works for us as you said well yeah um and just again i feel like for everything that we read that says echinacea is good for you there's somebody out there that says it's not so look this is what works for us this is what keeps our family healthy this is what keeps us at work and keeps our body going and keeps us happy and smiling everything else to add? Mm -hmm. thanks for joining us we appreciate your trust and uh again if you have any questions reach out to us directly or your healthcare provider have a great day gang